first, you will need Google SketchUp Professional. You can download that from the Google website, but you need to pay for it. Licensed. Get rid of that stupid guy. Press delete. All the stuff. Older day in um, light wall, just standard one. If and it does not work with Blender, it has many errors. If you can't find professional or you can't buy it, just search it on PirateBay.org and you can download the cracked version. Like I have. Here we go. Now we're going to Blender. Convert it to a file format. 3DS or 3D RAM supports, which is .x. First we have to delete this object. Then we import 3DS. That should work. Now, I'll save one on the desktop. This list, you will find rectangle.3ds. Import that. We've got a few functions here. If you click that down, you can change the size of it. I usually get to the 150. And there's the rectangle. Then you file, export. Direct X Export all Make sure you export all of it Otherwise it won't work Properly Then you save it to the folder that you made Specifically for this purpose I made 3D RAM models I'm saving it here, I haven't made a folder for it Export. That sure done. Check the console and it's finished. So yes. And then we go into a special folder that you've made. And you should see rectangle.x. Yes. So first set it up. Make a new folder. Call it rectangle. Once you have the rectangle, copy your direct X rectangle file into there. And copy my easy Um, file rename things. What these do is easily rename the files for you instead of you have to rename. So to make it these work, you have to make it model dot x. If you want to make it into the right set of files for um, a rigid body polygon, you click this makes all the files 
This is just the code for the batch file. And if you want to make it into a terrain, you also have to have image.jpg or jpg. So it puts in the image area for selection. This is essential for it to work. This is my terrain batch file I made for trains. I'll post this on my website so you can download it if you think it would help you. Anyway, after that, then you just import it to 3D Rad. You go to your 3D Rad directory. In this case, I have it my Windows 7 directory. Drive, I should say. 3D Rad Res objects, and you go to um, Rigid Body. And first, you have to go to the 3D Rad, create a new Rigid Body object. Go Install Custom Rigid Body Polygons or Control 3. Install. Type in your name, work, and then click that, and it should say this. Now, you can go into this directory, find your rectangle. And these are all the sample files that you actually need. First off, this does create four files, and you only need three. But sometimes, you actually need the fourth file, I found it, like if you want to create a sphere or something, I think that's it or something like that. Yeah, and then you just copy and paste all these files. And then you don't need to use this. I don't know why it comes off. These poll and PLY files are the collision files. 3D Rad will automatically change it depending on what the model looks like. Now we've created the model. We can add the object as a rigid body. Check out what a new model looks like. Just find rectangle. Click OK. And here we are. Our oh, rectangle. Now it might not be standing up the right way you want it, but everything is on its side because Google SketchUp does not have all the axes correct for this program, but I think you could fix it up somehow and blend up before you import it. I have a few other objects. I've even made a car, which is a school bus, which looks really interesting. Anyway, there you have it, and 